Yes, my people. Once again, we are here protesting by Kari FM. Because uh, you will know that already what happened to this entertainer on Kari FM. Because this man was texting an underage girl offering her money to suck a lollipop. And we are the people of Dominica. We cannot let that pass like that. We have to stand and to fight this in our country. Because you cannot tell me that radio station had to rehire that entertainer after he has already disrespect with evidence an underage girl. So we are standing here today to send a message for the country and the rest of the world to know what is happening in Dominica. What really is going on in Dominica? Corruption is number one in our country. And we are leading in the OCS country. We are first in corruption. And we are fighting corruption too at the same time. Right? Poverty is on the rise in Dominica. Everything is upside down. Because when the head is crooked, all the others are crooked. And the head wants to control all the institution it have in Dominica. So he wants to pass like a dictator. But he will never in that world will have the full control of Dominica. He will never have the full dictatorship he looking for. You see what happened to Sri Lanka? We are on the same road to Sri Lanka. The same set of people that was praising the president. The same set of people that wasn't seeing the poverty coming. And right now they've been fighting and run that same president. We're on that same track. It's just a matter of time. Because there is no future in that country. There is no plan in that country for the next 10, 15, 20 years. They have over they have over enriched themselves over the past years. And right now they feel like it's superior. But among they will feel superior on those who are looking onto them for five cents, dollar, ten thousand dollars, apartment and galvanage. They want to use that and victimization, they want to use that to dominate Dominica, but not growing the country, not growing the economy, not creating employment, keeping the people poor and take advantage. So we're gonna fight that. Yes, my people, we are here, we are by Carry FM and we are standing and we will stand and continue fighting those corrupt people who think they are superior and over everybody in the country. No way, it will not happen. Behave all yourself. <laughs> I don't think I need to say much on this issue. I said my part on Saturday when I um, when I woke up and I got these screenshots and I went on to Facebook to see who I think and I think we all we all know a popular radio host, Oprah. Back in May we saw some real nasty messages. Right? Some really nasty messages came out. And I just feel like... The guy shaved it. <laughs> I just it. feel like we just read them saying and we go kya kya kya. Ha ha. Hey, hey, that's funny. That's not funny, guys. It's not funny. Before there is penetration, for those who are wondering, before there's penetration and there's touching, there's coaching. Yes. Grooming. Yes. There's grooming. Yes. Okay? Break it down, break it down. Grooming doesn't just happen in person. Alright? Not somebody just telling you, you know, you're so pretty. If you want help, I can help you. It's happening more and more online. And you all know our kids are online, alright? They're on WhatsApp, they're on Facebook, they're on TikTok, they're on Instagram, they're on all kinds of chats. And perpetrators of child sexual abuse. Get mad, they're there too. That's where they're hitting our kids now. We have to put a stop to it. We cannot stop thinking that penetration and physical touch is it. It's in the law. It's in the law. It was amended in 2016. That coaching is against the law. Sending explicit messages is against the law. So why is it so hard for us to say, to ask for accountability from our people in authority, from the police? 
we need to have some type of investigation into this type of thing. There's public evidence. And to me, it doesn't seem like to me that anybody said, well, no, I didn't do it. The actions I saw taken by this radio station and persons, um, Oprah, it showed to me that, okay, it looked like you probably do it. Your CEO said that they don't condone that behavior. So what we forget now? We forget what happened. I didn't forget. I don't know about you guys. I'm thinking you guys haven't forgotten. No way. All right? I haven't forgotten. And I'm really sick and tired. I am sick and tired of seeing us take this thing lightly. It's destroying our future. It's destroying our future. Our children are hiding from us. They are lying to us because they do not know how else to come and say certain things because we continue to show them that we don't care. We continue to show them that that's not important. Don't worry, I'll talk to him and he will stop. That's our mentality and it cannot continue guys. I'm not going to stay on here long, I don't need to talk no more. I'm sure I have others who can say a lot more on it. But I just wish we will all stand up for our children. Yes, yes. Right? We don't have to make this personal, right? We don't have to go low and start to attack people personally. And No, we are here for an issue. And the issue is how rampant, and maybe not rampant is the word, but how prevalent now in our face child abuse is. And we need to stop. We need to put a stop to it. Thank you. How can anybody in their right mind support, condone, and just act like this molestation is okay? Why are we accepting this in this country? Why do people think it's okay to support this radio station, listen to it, and then say, oh, they're against child abuse? This is a big lie. Every single segment in this society is supporting child abuse. From the, from the, from the head down to the tail. Listen, this happens in our families. It needs to be addressed in our families, first of all. We cannot keep protecting people because you like them, because you know them. That is the, the beginning of the whole problem. You know, it begins in the families, it goes on and on and on. We end, and our, our society is just getting sicker and sicker and sicker. We now have grown people in this country who have been abused. And their abusers are still alive and still around, and they are quite aware that these abusers have continued to abuse our children. What are you grown people, survivors of abuse, doing against these people? You know, you have to realize and search your conscience and know that you are all perpetuating this cycle of abuse. What are we going to do? You know, at what point are we going to say enough is enough? No way. At what point are we going to organize ourselves and go and take a cutlass or something behind those guys and, and find a way to deal with them effectively, you know, hold them in some, in some kind of area. Castrate them! You know, until the police decide to grow some... Balls. Not, not even balls. I don't know what they have to grow. A, 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 a whole new conscience. No prison for